This video is for Learning Games C1 and it's looking at responsible use, in this case looking at environmental issues. So the specification says we need to look at the impact of manufacturing, we need to look at considerations when upgrading or replacing digital systems, and we need to look at usage and settings policies. So first of all, we need to take a look at the impact of manufacturing on the environment. So digital devices require a lot of energy just to actually make them. They also use a lot of raw materials, including non-renewable materials like copper and gold. Batteries use lithium and nickel, which produce toxic waste when processing. With the impact of use, Digital devices use a lot of electricity. Some equipment is left running for 24 hours a day, such as, such as various different servers. The servers and data centers all need to be kept cool and have air conditioning units running all day. Batteries are obviously recharged using electricity as well. The impact of disposing of digital devices is quite significant. Now, due to constant changes and upgrades in technology, people are buying new devices all of the time. And getting rid of the old equipment is a major concern because of the hazardous materials in the devices. For example, there's mercury, lithium, nickel and lead. There is a Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Directive, which is WEEE -E -E for short where organisations need to provide recycling facilities for their products by law. So this is going some way to ensuring that big organisations in particular are offering some sort of recycling facilities. Printing materials such as cartridges are disposable and therefore should be recycled to avoid adding to waste problems. You should always wipe your devices of any data before getting rid of the device. One way that we can reduce the impact of disposal is to upgrade existing equipment instead of replacing it. For example, you could always add more RAM memory to devices, install a graphics card or upgrade the storage device from a, hard, a magnetic hard disk to a solid state device. If you are able to replace, perhaps the old equipment could be donated to others rather than wasted. To reduce the impact of use, we can actually reduce this by putting systems in place to shut down computers automatically or to put them into low power modes when we're not in using them. For example, we can have standby mode, we can have sleep mode, or we can put particular time limits where it will shut down the computer after a certain time. Lots of organisations have got limits on printing and software which tracks how much people are printing and this can be addressed.